An 80-year-old California store owner is hailed a hero after defending himself by opening fire on robbers that were armed with rifles that came into his store. He reportedly suffered a heart attack after the incident, but he is expected to be okay. This comes as crime plagues the blue state thanks to these far-left soft-on-crime policies. Fox News contributor and former Democrat Leo Terrell lives in California, and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Leo. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. Look, if you're going to go in and try to rob a store, you better expect something like this could happen. What are your thoughts? The, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, save this 80-year-old man, Ainsley. Where's Gavin Newsom and Joe Biden who talking about gun control? Those four criminals, they had illegal guns. This shop owner had a gun that he lawfully purchased, and he saved his life by having that gun. And look at those four criminals, Ainsley. They ran. They were scared because he leveled the playing field. He protected his livelihood, and he protected his life. That's the Second Amendment working for those who are law-abiding citizens. I applaud that man. Hopefully, he's, he's in the hospital. He had a heart attack. Hopefully, he comes out. And this is a deterrent to these criminals who are just running rampant in Democratic cities funded by George Soros. Yeah, I mean, these suspects, they drove up in a BMW, and then they went inside to the Norco Market and Liquor, tried to rob the store. The 80-year-old gun owner comes out with a gun and fires it off. You can, hear the, you can hear the suspects running away, screaming like babies, and saying, they shot my arm, they shot my arm, they shot my arm off. But this is what you have to expect. If you're going to go in and try to rob someone of everything they've worked hard for, then this could happen. But what's going to happen to these suspects in liberal California, Leo? That, oh, I've been waiting to ask. Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, we got George Soros. We got a progressive George Soros funded prosecutor. Are these guys going to be back out on the street? They went in there to intent to harm, if not kill, the shop owner. Because is he going to be, are these individuals going to be relief on this no cash bail? That's the next question. These guys are criminals, Ainsley. They should be behind bars. They should not be on the streets. They were there to commit an armed robbery. Robbery with deadly force. And the BMW SUV was also found to contain numerous stolen firearms. What are the penalties if you're caught with stolen firearms in California? Well, well, that's the thing about it. George Soros believes that, and, and, and George Gascon believes, if you don't use the gun, we're not going to enhance. He's eliminated enhancement crimes for those who are carrying illegal weapons. So these guys might get out back out on the street oh for, for no cash bail. This is a problem, Ainsley, with Democratic cities. These individuals should be behind bars, but because there's no special enhancements, ordered by the district attorney. These guys pr won't use the guns as a way to keep them in jail. They'll be back on the street. And that's the sad part about these Democratic cities. Right. There, the one great thing, Ainsley, is this man leveled the playing field by having a weapon to protect his livelihood. And you're right. The Second Amendment, Amendment allows him that right. Leo used to be a Democrat. Policies like this changed Never his again. mind. Never again. Never again. I left. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Leo. Great to see you this morning. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.